Hey guys! So today I decided to share with you something that I would wear to the office since I've been at, requested to do a couple of videos showcasing what I would wear to the office. So, since some people aren't too sure what's appropriate, what's not appropriate. The best thing to do is know your office dress code. So once you go to your, your human resources office and get a copy of the dress code and the guidelines. And then also check out like the culture of your office. Maybe it's a little bit more laid back, maybe it's not. So bear that in mind. So watch what other people wear and then kind of mimic the same style. For me, um, this is something I'd wear to the office. My office is business casual. It's pretty laid back and sometimes I like to wear something fun so stay tuned if you want to see the outfit and yeah thanks for all the support bye start from the top down. For my hair I have it pulled back with a side part, just pulled back into a conservative bun. And for my earrings I'm wearing these small or medium sized silver hoops with crystal detailing and these are from Payless. For my makeup I'm pretty simple again, just plain face, mascara, eyebrows and foundation. And for my necklace I'm wearing a very skinny white gold necklace which translates to silver with a very simple diamond pendant. Very simple as usual I keep my jewelry pretty simple for the office and to dress it up I added my Christian Bernard watch, silver watch. And yeah, that's it for my jewelry. So the top that I'm wearing has jewel tone colors and there's an emerald green or it's almost a teal, an emerald teal with a fuchsia pink, a deep fuchsia pink, and deep purple. And it has this flutter design, this flowy design, that actually is attached to this, the shirt rather than being a part of it. And the flutter design also flops over the shoulders to give you a little bit more coverage, which is something you have to consider in the office. You don't want to show your shoulders too much, especially in my office they require that your shoulders are covered. So that's something to bear in mind if you're going to wear this to the office. The flutter design also goes all the way to the back, so you'll feel like a little butterfly. Um, at the front there is somewhat of a peephole or a peekaboo opening, which is secured by just a little bit of string, a string tie. So that's something also to bear in mind, if you don't want to reveal too much skin, you might want to wear a tank top or a camisole under this. And then further down, oh the top is from Express, just forgot to say that. Further down I'm wearing my pencil skirt and this is from H&M. And it's just a regular plain black pencil skirt. It hits me below my knees, which is another thing to consider for office wear is whether or not you're allowed to wear skirts that hit above your knees or that they or if they require the skirts to hit below your knees so bear that in mind but it's just a regular plain pencil skirt from H&M there's no split or anything it's a straight fit and I have it paired with a skinny patent leather leather patent leather belt with silver detailing and now onto the shoes. Now the shoes that I'm wearing are very simple. They're plain black platform pumps and these are Ziggy New York from Love My Shoes. They have a very high heel and it's also skinny so bear that in mind again when you're selecting shoes for the office. If your dress code asks for conservative heel height you may not want to go as high as I did with these five inch pumps. You might want to go for three inches maximum. So that's something again to consider. But these are very conservative and art mostly office appropriate. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!